All right, so we're at the Hidden Valley today. It's boozy. I am in shorts, 65 degrees, maybe get to 70. We're gonna do quarter skins, dollar greenies. I'll film the film. I think we're gonna do two groups. There's a foursome and then a threesome, me, Talls, and Kent. So I'll film our group and then give the highlights. I'm fixing to break 75 today, so we'll see how it goes. Um, enjoy. Hopefully we get some good shots out. On the ground. Why would you read the, all of that? Uh, I do that on everything. Just have it. Actually, it's probably the best privacy policy that I've read on any app uh, that uh, you would install like this. I, I thought that they were straight across the board. And by the way, it's a, it's a company that, the software company is here in America. You know? hmm. I think I got you out of Ken. I don't know, since you don't have a handicap. Well, we're off. One of us did good. Talls, how did yours go? Not so good. Not so good. They're uh, just a bit outside. Out of the tall crap. Could be on. About to find out. Uh, just short. Just short. So me and Talls have gone par par. Kent, I think, did a bogey or double, and then I think a par. We're on number three, getting ready to tee off. It's a par three. We just got a notification that on one, on the Grint, that Kent eagled or holed out for eagle on the first hole, which uh, that, uh, that is not true, friends. So we're gonna do some editing, and we're gonna tee off, and we're gonna hopefully hit a hole in one. We got about 90 yards on this one. Still winter tees, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, here we go. So we're getting ready to tee off on, well, I'd say, Kent, trying to record. We're teeing off on number four and five, in my opinion, two of the hardest holes right in a row. Uh, got a little bit of a hold up, it's busy out here, but we'll see how it goes. So I think I'll record the record number five, which is the par three. Because it's, I'm, I usually take a lot of strokes on this number four. So you can see they've winter tees are right here, and then it's, uh, you got to really try and put it over those trees over there to the left, and then the fairway straightens out, and the holes just down there, kind of a dog lay left over that way. You can see the group in front of us are other hackers. They've not made it very far. So yeah, we're just gonna wait for them to clear out. And, off we go. All right, so bogey the last one, which I'm happy with. Can't part it, which very well could be a skin. So now we're lo looking at a very short par three. Uh, 
two over through four holes so we'll see if we can get a couple strokes back here in the next couple things get a little easier after number five Not good. That's a fiver. That's a five. Tall's got a greenie. Can't, don't know, but that sucked. All right, so I'm on a bit of a bogey train at the moment, but we got three good holes, two par fives, and a long par four. And uh, hopefully we can get at least one or two birdies out of that and get back on track. But I think I'm sitting at five over, five or six over through seven. So. Got to get some strokes back here, and we'll get the ball rolling. Talls, what are you? One. What are you? One over through six. Talls is playing good. But he's also got a side bet where he gave Jeff seven strokes, so he can't afford to, he can't afford to lose any strokes. <laughs> Just had a recovery, hit into the woods, took a drop, chipped it up. We are looking good. So we're heading to the back. I'm sitting at plus six, 42. Couldn't get, I got briefly off the bogey train, but I hopped right on at the next available stop. Tall's playing good. Won't jinx him. I don't know what his score is, but it's not bad. One under. He's one under, so yeah, he's playing pretty good. Yeah, Mine gonna, is a hurricane. It is windy. It is windy. Not the windiest it's ever been, but pretty windy. But I think I'm fixing to turn it on here on the back nine, go pretty, pretty low. I think I'll still, I think I can still break 80. Everything comes around, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Got some snackage, heading to the tee box, and uh, yeah, we'll get this party started. Tolls, what did, this, I get, how would you describe? We've got the real hole here, and then this right here. I feel like if I make it in that, that should count. Gosh, unbelievable. Made it to hole 13. We've got three groups backed up. So on top of a weird plug that didn't work, our marshal is clearly, 
clearly doing his job here. Just this, keeping this pace of play going smooth. Alright, coming up to number 14. Very short par 3. Two over on the back. Just struggled through an easy par 4 for a bogey. What'd you get? Par. Tall's is still playing good. Uh, looks like greeny opportunity on this hole. I don't see any close. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, hopefully we can stick it close and get at least a couple birdies before the end of this back gets get to break 80. So here we go. Can't tell the people how you feel about that shot. I hate this game. Yep. All right, so just to uh, bogey the par three, Tall's birdied it, he's on fire, but I found this golf ball earlier and I just don't know what kind of psychopath marks their the line on their ball like that. <laughs> it's like uh, done in blood or something. That's the Crips. Right. Like, I don't know who lost this ball, but they are a psychopath. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Ridiculous. I don't even know if I want to keep it. <laughs> all right, just teed off on 17. Sitting pretty good. It's a par five. I really need to get birdie or an eagle on this hole to get my score back into the, the we'll call it good. So we'll see where we go. I think, um, oh yeah, sitting good in the fairway. Tall's is gonna be a bit right, but oh yeah, no big deal. <clears throat> we'll be able to, we'll be, we should be able to give it a run. We'll see how she goes. Do it. So we got a tree in the way, par yeah. five here. Instead yeah, of playing the safe Psh, shot, can't we're going for it in two. Back up now, and- Wait a minute, wait a minute. Isn't that amazing how that ball's sitting up on a tee like that? That's where it was. <laughs> so, pay no, this guy has a bunch of iron covers, so pay no attention to anything he says. What are we doing now, Tals? We're going to play a hook around this tree here that's in the way into a par 5. Obviously, I missed the fairway. Can't get over this tree. Second set of trees. So we're going to try to play a big hook out and around. Let's do it. Got about 190 yards into the green. Hook. He wants to get a kick left. He did it. It didn't hook a lot, but he shot. cleared the trees shot. and he's just probably pin high. Probably pretty close pin high. Now, probably pin so high just up to the up right. Like yeah. In the good stuff. Wow. Yeah, I haven't hardly done the ball all day. So here's where, just so you can get a reference, here's where he ended up. Not too shabby. Oh! Almost hit the stick. Also, just so you know, I'll show you. This is why, this is why we give Kent a hard time all the time. You'll understand, look at that. Look at those high dollar iron covers protecting. Who knows what's underneath them, doesn't really matter. All right, let's get some putts. All right, we're on num number 18. I've got to get a birdie for a 79. It's got to happen, so this drive is gonna get blasted and it's either gonna put out a window 
or it's going to be awesome. Kent's got to get a birdie for a 80. And Tall's is probably just going to get a birdie because that seems to be all he can do today is get birdies. He's... <laughs> Two under. I don't know what limit is, but if we were hunting, Tall's would be at his limit <laughs> for sure. Practicing for that tombstone game that we got to play this summer. Heck yeah. We do. We got a tournament coming up, which we'll film. We're going, me, Tall's, Jeff, and Tall's brother Noah, we're going to play at Winterstone Independence. And uh, we're fitting to win it, honestly. So if anyone's playing that tournament, you can just cut your checks directly to Sunday Hackers. Don't even bother showing up. I want to point out where Jay Wood's ball is. It's in this lovely ditch that we have in this golf course for some unknown reason. Got, There's the green. I've got to get a birdie, so I can't, I can't take a drop. He can't take a drop. He's got to get a birdie here to make a uh, 79 out of this hole. Here we go now. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad, he got a face full of mud on it, but we give him props for playing it. Oh, we made it. Tall shot, awesome. I did not win a single skin or a single greenie. Uh, didn't break 80. But it's still, it's still fun. So, uh, what'd you end up, did you end up two? Two, on, two or three under, two under I think. Two or three under, plus he won a, just a bunch of skins. Just taking money, taking money like crazy. It's, honestly, someone should call the police department for this robbery that just happened. But yeah, good round of day. Hopefully we can get some more nice warm days like this and get out and play some more, but uh, we're gonna go settle up, see how much the damage is, and we'll catch you next time.